Art Prize is officially underway once more and many people hitting downtown Grand Rapids, which means many more pedestrians. And if you're driving around those pedestrians, there are laws that you should know, laws that pertain specifically to the city of Grand Rapids. And to know that law, we bring in Tom Sinus from Sinus Jameis Law Firm. Hi, Tom. How you doing? Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about the basics in Grand Rapids when it comes to the law of pedestrians and vehicles. Let's do that. Let me just first emphasize a point you made, which is how potentially dangerous this is. And it seems an obvious to say cars and pedestrians dangerous. Well, of course, but the numbers are just, they're staggering and they're getting worse. So in, in 2019, there were 2,400 pedestrians hit in Michigan. 80% of those people were injured or killed. And then this year, the report in Michigan and across the country has been that there is a 20% increase in pedestrian traffic deaths in 2021 over 2020. And that's true in Michigan and throughout the country. And so this is all trending in the wrong way. And so it's a really good time with all of these people coming to downtown Grand Rapids to remind us that we have a specific ordinance in the city of Grand Rapids that is a few years old, but it may still be new in concept to some people, or maybe they never thought about it. So I'm going to read it, the first sentence. It says, the operator of a vehicle shall stop for a pedestrian crossing the roadway within any marked crosswalk or within any unmarked crosswalk at an intersection, except where the movement of traffic is being regulated by a police officer or a traffic control device. So what's significant about that is it doesn't use the old concepts of uh, pedestrians need to yield or, or vehicles need to yield to pedestrians. It makes it very clear if a pedestrian is in a crosswalk, the driver must stop. They don't slow down. They don't maybe stop some of the time. They must stop and let the pedestrian cross. So when you're driving around the city of Grand Rapids and you're seeing people crossing in crosswalks, you have to come to a complete stop. Now, on the pedestrian side of things, there's another ordinance that says every pedestrian crossing a roadway at any point other than a crosswalk shall yield the right of way to oncoming vehicles. So, of course, pedestrians should cross at a crosswalk from a safety sense. If they're not, they have to yield to oncoming vehicles. But if they are, they have the absolute right of way and motorists in, in both directions have to come to a complete stop. And, and I think you know as well as I do that you could walk around the city of Grand Rapids and stand in a crosswalk and wait for people to come to a complete stop. And I think that's probably because many people don't know about this. But now, of course, is the time for us to re remind us that we have this ordinance and we pass the ordinance because of this growing and increasingly worse trend of injury and death for pedestrians as a result of cars. Obviously want to keep everyone safe, both pedestrian and motorist. And let's talk a little bit about the consequences then. I mean, let's say somebody's walking through a crosswalk and you didn't stop. God forbid there was an accident and you've hit them. What happens? Well, that's a great question. So on the on the ordinance side of things, you you may get a civil infraction, you may get a ticket. But the more important part is that you, the motorist, if you're the striking motorist who failed to yield, you are likely liable in a civil case because that's an act of what we call negligence. Negligence just means a failure to use reasonable care. And our law tells us that we can look at things like ordinances to give us a guide of what is and what is not reasonable. But in that case, uh, if a pedestrian's in a crosswalk and you're required to stop, well, well, that's really not exercising reasonable care. And so then the motorist is then subject to civil liability. And what does that mean? And why is that more maybe even more significant now? Well, in short, the overhaul of our auto no-fault insurance law that went into effect in 2019 and has phased in over the years has created a situation where motorists, for the first time ever in the 40 some odd year experiment with the law, where motorists can be liable for a victim's medical expenses. That liability depends on what kind of no-fault insurance the victim, the pedestrian has. But of course, the motorist doesn't know that, and you don't know it until it's over. But it's important to know here that not only can motorists be liable for things like the victim's change in their quality of life, if they're negligent, 
but they also now can have substantial liability for a victim's medical expenses. So the message here is the same spirit of the ordinance, which is stop, stop, let the pedestrian cross, give that extra second, because of course, nobody on either side of this wants to be in that situation that you could have avoided with just a little bit of more attention and slowing down just a little bit. So let's keep our eyes open, Grand Rapids. If you're coming to visit for Art Prize and you're going to be traveling in your car anywhere around that downtown, especially around that downtown area, a lot of people walking on the streets, you see them in that crosswalk. It is your obligation to stop. And that is an ordinance for the city of Grand Rapids. And of course, if you want any more questions answered, there's a place to go. Tom? That's right. You can find us online at www.sinusdramus.com. Give us a phone call in West Michigan at 616-301-3333 or shoot us an email at info at sinusdramus.com.